You are listening to Power Marketing with Kevin Lee. Here's Kevin. Each social network faces its own bot and spam and abandoned profile problem. I, I think Twitter's is, is, is unique because it, it, they really did proliferate for some reason yeah. in Twitter. No, it's, I, I think, I think Twitter, um, for whatever reason, I think, you know, partially incentivized the creation of a lot of bots and spam and also has an ecosystem where those are quite problematic because of how the, the visibility of content works in Twitter as compared to, you know, Facebook or Instagram, where you know, if you're not following someone or something, you're very unlikely to see it. They just don't have the concept, you know, the same constructs around the retweet or the show people who replied to things or, um, you know, the, the, the default publicity and the degree to which people who use Twitter realize that it can, that it has an outsized impact on the information ecosystem of our world uh, take advantage of that, right? And so those incentives mean, you know, you get more political actors in there, you get more spam, you get more disinformation, um, you get more harassment. You know, uh, Instagram obviously has some of these problems too. But you know, uh, my my wife, for example, right, Geraldine is a very prominent author and and feminist and uh, you know, outspoken person on many social issues. And, you know, nowhere does she have to deal with the death threats and hate and, and, you know, threats of violence and, and often sexualized violence that she does on Twitter. And I, I don't think, you know, obviously personally, I find it's repulsive and scary and, you know, security concerns, all that kind of stuff, which is awful. But also I don't understand why Twitter as a corporation wants to enable that. That doesn't make good sense to, it doesn't make good business sense to me. You know, that um, I think fundamentally it drives a lot of good people off of the platform. It dissuades a lot of people who might otherwise consider using Twitter from wanting to use it, especially people who realize they're going to get harassed. You know, if you're a woman or a person of color, or if you're GLBTQ or, you know, any of any of these sort of, you know, folks who receive outsized amounts of of hate on Twitter and, and harassment. Why would you want to participate in that ecosystem? And my suspicion is Twitter, as a result, loses a tremendous amount of opportunity in business and puts out a lot more terrible things into the world versus kind and good and positive things. I, 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 don't, I don't understand the philosophy behind it, either from an economics, pure economics decision or from a you know, social good perspective. Kevin Lee's Power Marketing is available on all your favorite podcast networks. Kevin loves helping businesses excel at marketing. Having marketing challenges? Just like Santa in the Miracle on 34th Street. If Kevin can't help you, he'll know someone who can. Find him on LinkedIn, subscribe, or follow.